Okay, welcome back. We are now doing part two of today's math lesson. So here we go. Part one, we did, yes, we did already. Okay, so that was going over those questions. Now, today, you need to bring out your notebook and write in this subheading. And we should have today's date, which is April 21st. Okay, so it's the same I can statement. You do not need to write a new I can statement in. Okay, so what we're doing today is we are linking images to patterns. So we might be given an image like this, and then we have to say, well, they're gonna ask us, what is the pattern rule for this? Or it could be in reverse. So that means we're given a pattern and then we have to um, draw an image. Okay, so first thing to write in is this. This is really the only little bit you have to write in today. So sometimes you will be given a series of pictures to then work back from in order to determine a pattern rule, or it could be vice versa, okay? So in this case, we are doing this example. You're given a series of pictures, here it is, and then you have to work back from this in order to determine the pattern rule. Or you could be given a pattern rule, so vice versa, flopped, you could be given a pattern rule and then it says draw the pictures to represent it, okay? so. Um, I would like you to write this in. Um, for this, if you just want to watch, you could, or you could do a little sketch. The best thing would be to do a little sketch of this. And it's even if you wanted to pause and then like take time to make this look beautiful in your book, you can. It's really cool how here they've shown one thing with one color. And then figure two, it, they've kept the same color and they've added on one, two, three more things. Here, another one. This is the original and they added on another three things, okay? Another three things. So yeah, that actually is kind of cool how it builds. It could be a nice like coloring activity or kind of like calming kind of moment. It's nice to do something like that. Okay, so what we are doing today is, um, okay, so what we're doing is basically we're given a, we're given this picture and then what we're asked to do is we're going to determine the pattern rule, okay? That's what we're going to do today. So where should we start? What on earth do we do to begin? Well, if we think of what we have had for making our previous pattern rules, what have we had? We've had a table, right? We've had a table of values. So that's what we're going to do first. We're going to put in a table of values. Okay, so oh, ah, there we go. Okay, you can use your ruler for this. Ah, bah, what's happening? Okay, here we go. Uh, okay, you can draw this or even just make a T chart will also work. Okay, so first I'm gonna make my table of values. Okay, so what should we put as our headings? That's important to kind of think about. Well, if we kind of go back to these, we had input, output. Okay, let's make this a little bit more specific. What could we call the input? Like what's the thing that's always increasing by a normal predicted amount? Well, this is, we call it the input or I'm gonna call it the figure, okay? So we have, we can fill this in right away. For our figure, we would have figure one, two, three, four, oh, there's one more and five. Okay. And then what would we call this side? Rather than output, well, it is the output, but what are we going to call it more specifically? Let's see. We could call it maybe number of triangles. Yeah, that's pretty specific. Okay. So in figure one, how many triangles do we have? One. Figure number two, how many triangles do we have? One two, three, four. In figure five, we have four, but then we've added on another three, so we have seven. Then I'm gonna guess here, this would be seven, eight, nine, ten. And then in this one, we could count all of them, or we can kind of follow the pattern, and we know there's going to be 13. Okay, so this is step numero uno. Figure out what a really good table would be because that's going to be a lot easier for us to work from. Now, next step is we have to figure out the pattern rule. So we need to figure out 
first of all, before we can figure out the pattern rule, we need to figure out what goes into the machine. What would be the input output values? Okay, let's see here. How do we get from one to one? Maybe I'm gonna start at two, actually. That one would be a little bit easier to look at. Could we do maybe times by three minus two? I'm thinking that might be it. Do you agree? Yeah, I think so, because yeah, I think that's gonna be it. Okay, I'm just gonna draw this in here. So we can write this in as well. Okay, so we have times by three as our first one. And then our second one is subtract two. Okay, yeah, double check that this works. One times three is three, minus two is one, yep. Two times three is six, minus two is four, yes. Three times three is nine, minus two is seven. Perfect, that's it, okay. Now, next thing is, uh, okay, good. Okay, I'm gonna write in my pattern rule. So, here we go. Pattern rule is start at one, increase, oops, increase by multiplying by three, then subtracting by two each time. Ta-da! Okay, that is it. That's the only new thing that we've learned today. If we wanted, there are gonna be questions where you have to work in the reverse order. So say for example, they, uh, they gave us input and output, we would know the input is the figure number. So that's how much it's increasing by, like just going from one image to the next image. And then number of triangles is what we actually see, what the output is. Okay, so that's really it. Let's make up a quick pro tip. So the pro tip is, dun, 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 um, create a table of values to represent the um, series, the image, the images, okay? which in this case are the pictures. Sometimes it's gonna be like symbols, sometimes it could be something else. Okay, there we go. So um, that is it for what you had to learn today. So this is the homework. It is page 16, questions three to six. With number six on Seesaw, we're gonna do the trading thing again, uh, due tomorrow. Okay, so page 16, questions three to six, number six on Seesaw. Okay, so I'm just going to show you this quickly. So here is, did I say page 15? Oh, that's wrong. Sorry. It should be page 15, not page 16. Okay, so page 15 right here. Okay, so what we are doing, first of all, is number three. Okay, so this, you have to use your homework from yesterday. Use the table of values in question 2A. Draw pictures to show the relationships, or the relationship in each of the tables. So we go to here, this is your work from yesterday, okay, that I just went over with you. So you need to, you need to create an image of this. Maybe you want it to do snowmen with how many pieces are on the snowman, for example, or a totem pole, or Lego, it could be Lego. Those of you who want to do that, you could even build this with Lego and then take a picture of it. That'd be super cool. Um, or you could just draw it, totally your choice. Okay, so um, right out. Okay, so you have to do that for each of these. So image one would have, if this is a snowman, would have two balls on it. Number uh, image, or Im snowman number two would have five pieces or five stacks of totem pole or Lego, whatever. Three would have eight and then like that. Okay, so yeah, that is it. For this one, you'd have to call, if there's like, it doesn't start at one, you would just start, you would just call this like building three, for example, like if it's like a house complex or whatever, this is building three, there are three windows on building three. On house four, there are five windows. On house five, there are seven windows, okay? So try to draw something different for each of them, okay? 
because that's going to show your creativity rather than just sort of doing the same thing over and over try to think of like a different object or different item that this could um relate to okay next is each table shows input output values from a machine with two operations find the pattern rule that relates the input to the output okay so they give you some of them okay they give you at least three rows that are fully intact the other ones you're going to have to yep that's part two use the pattern rule to find the missing numbers in the table okay so for this one when you have the missing output easy right because you go this way but when you do not know the input if you know the output you need to work backwards okay then this is going to get trickier you need to figure out the output when the input is 40 okay so that's going to use those skills yesterday some of them were easy with just 10 today it's going to get a little bit harder if you wanted to even make up another number you could challenge yourself even further okay this next one you may need color tiles or counters or dot paper okay so for this you could use lego or you could even just draw it whatever you kind of want okay um, you don't necessarily need to build this though if you don't want to, okay? That's, I guess the first one's A is kind of optional. Um, write a pattern rule that relates the input to the output, okay? So gotta figure that guy out. Um, predict the output. Ooh, this is an excellent question. Predict the output when the input is nine, okay? So you're just continuing down here, but trick here. Which input has an output of 28? So if you know that 28 sits over here in the output, then what would the input be? So you have to work in the opposite direction, right? Okay, there you go. And then this one, number six, is what I have created a document of, okay? So for this, it's on Seesaw. Um, okay, so cre and now I've tried to make this a little bit easier for you so you know exactly what you were filling in and what you're leaving blank for the partners because the last one I had to say, oh, you weren't reading the instructions. You gotta do it again before I send it to somebody else because it doesn't make sense for them if they get it when stuff's filled in when it shouldn't be or too much is filled in. So your name goes here, okay? Actually, you know what? I'm just gonna show this in here, okay? So I'm pretending to be Minnie Mouse. Okay, so created by mini mini mouse okay so mini mouse is doing the stuff that is in um yellow draw the input of a machine with two operations choose two numbers and two operations for your machine okay same thing values must be between 1 and 13 no decimals use different operations and numbers for each okay but this is blue so mini mouse if they want you could write this in for now to just to like create it for example, I don't know, okay, whatever. Um, but you need to erase this because this is blue. This is for your partner to do. So say that you're gonna start at four, for example, okay, then what would the output be? You need to fill in everything that is in yellow. I am not using my eraser. I am not filling in anything that is blue, okay? So person A, once you have done all of the yellow, then you send it to me, okay? Your classmate, when you get a new one, okay, this is gonna be the homework that's going to be for tomorrow. Um, the partner is going to fill in, they're gonna to have to figure out what the values in the machine. They're going to have to write the pattern rule, so you can just write that anywhere, partners. And then you're gonna to have to figure out what the next, um, next four values are, okay? So pretend that Mini Me is done, they have filled in this, yada yada, okay? You're going to press submit, check. Okay, um, I also would like you, I said this in the instructions, I guess I didn't um, maybe say this. Yeah, okay, here. So original creator work in yellow spaces. Um, when you submit to me, please note, include a note below with what your pattern rule is. I will delete it before I send to the partner, okay? so. You go into your original work and then you comment, my pattern rule is times two and then plus three, okay? Oops, times two and this should be plus three, okay? Then post, 
okay? I need to see this before I'm going to send it to somebody else because I do not want somebody else to get your work and it, the pattern rule not actually be accurate or make sense, okay? So I need to make sure that it's gonna be, it's gonna actually work for them first. So just tell me what your pattern rule is, okay? Um, that is it, okay? That's it, that's all you have to do for today. And yeah, so this is due for tomorrow. Okay, good work.